You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing another fighting game. This is Soul Edge. Or Soul Blade. Soul... The Soul game before Soul Calibur. And it's the weapons-based fighter by Namco, creating the ones who created uh, Tekken as well. Let's just go ahead. So, you'd see some familiar faces, at least. Li Long. And of course, Soul Calibur 6 just came out uh, a few months ago. So that's actually the seventh game already in the Soul series. Of course, there's a few spin offs like uh, the one on PSP, Broken Destiny. I'm supposed to try that as well, but seeing that um, most PSP games are not really running well on the PlayStation Classic, I decided to hold first. Maybe I'll try it soon, since maybe maybe it's better now. I haven't really tried. Ugh, I haven't really tried any PSP games ever since the uh, 1.0 release of Blame Sync. And uh, there's that sort of adventure game. Action game. Well, it's still a, it's still like a fighter. It's like an arena fighter on the Wii. Uh, I forgot its title. It's called Soul Calibur. It has seven characters, and you have to waggle your Wii mode a lot. And I remember playing this game on the arcades. I suppose it was a time where, like, I'd try every fighting game I see on the arcade. Wow, they jump so high. So one thing you'll notice, this is actually very fluid with uh, their movements compared to, say, Star Gladiator, the weapons-based fighter of Capcom. And although that one has a futuristic feel to it. Of course, my favorite Soul Calibur is. Um, sorry to say, 2? GameCube version, because it has Link. Although, I guess Broken Destiny had Kratos. The HD version had both Heihachi and um, wait, I actually can't recall. Was Spawn also in the HD version, or was it just Necrid? It's been a while. I had that on the 360. At least that's where I played it. Battle one, 
fight. For some reason, I'm remembering that the first Soledge I played didn't even have Huang yet. Like Huang was like an additional character on a arcade revision. Of course, by the time the PlayStation version came out, Huang was already in. Oh, she got me. Final battle. Fight. <laughs> Two. Oh, mashing works. And it's just unfortunate there's a lot of characters, series favorites that are not yet here, like uh, Killick. Ivy, Valdo, they're all not here yet. Astaroth. You battle to fight. First loss. Let's see if I can rally back. Got him. Her. I can't even tech out of the grabs yet. Was that not possible in this game? I can't remember. Again, anyway, 
Well, I think that's it for this video. As you can see, if you're craving for some of that Soul Calibur Edge action, it's very possible here on the PlayStation Classic. And, um, I mean, who knows, maybe if uh, Dreamcast Core is optimized, you can play Soul Calibur soon. I mean, the SNES Classic was able to run a Dreamcast Core, although, as you'd expect, the performance isn't 100%. But it's possible, at least. So, maybe eventually, it will also be possible on the PlayStation Classic. But for now, we can uh, play this game. And it's not a bad game. Of course, uh, it's not as good as the <laughs> sequels. But it's enough to keep us occupied for some two-player action at least. Oh man. You battle too. Fight. Oh, Valdo is here. Did I mention that he wasn't here? Well, I guess I'm mistaken. Um, if you're wanting two-player action for this game, uh, I think being able to load the USB drive via OTG will be introduced in the future version of uh, BleemSync. It's 1.1, I believe. So. Unless you have a USB hub, you can't do two players, though. But anyway... Maybe we can uh, practice against the AI here. He's giving me some... Uh, challenge. I suppose I'm not as good as I th thought I was in... So edge. Alright, anyway. <laughs> that's it for this video, I guess. And you're watching uh, 8 bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching this one.